What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol AAPL for Apple Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talk about the stock regularly here on the channel. The main thing I want to point out is that we really just have continued indecision on today's session. Although we did make a significant push into the afternoon, look at the pullback here in the last hour of the day, and it's leaving us with exactly what I just pointed out indecision. To be quite honest with you, we hardly made a new higher high out of the two-day range, but we also didn't make a new lower low. So to me, it's just indicating that we're kind of holding here, waiting in anticipation, I would imagine, of the big bad day for the earnings announcement. So of course, that is going to be coming out on Thursday after the bell there. So be aware of that. Um, there's a couple of things we can read into a little bit, though. If we look at the 30-minute time frame, this is kind of the most telling, in my estimation at least. We had this breakout level that we were monitoring. Obviously, it ramped through it into the close there on Monday. But but look at how it offered resistance, 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 resistance early on on the Tuesday session. As we broke it, it truly did lead to a breakout once again. So I'm putting a lot of importance into about 159. So any pullbacks that really come into that and start to bounce out, fine. I think we're going to respect that sort of trend line right there for a higher low off that level. The next step, of course, would be, can we take out the two-day balance highs kind of in here closer to 162? And if so, we know targets overhead are going to be 164 quarter. And then ultimately, 168 is the number that changes the tone from the Apple daily time frame if we can get back above it with acceptance. Now, don't get me wrong. It's far away. There's a lot of work that needs to be done before that's in play, but that's the number that would change the tone from the Apple daily time frame. To the downside, if 159 does not hold, it's simply all about the support from today's session, today's lows, also the right-hand shoulder of the inverted head and shoulders from yesterday around 157. That's your last line of defense. Anything underneath that, I would imagine, spurs a new round of selling that could potentially take Apple lower outside of the two-day balance, even underneath this 154, to our next structural element here, closer to 152. So that's what I've got for you. Obviously, the close was a little bit more bullish than bearish, just the fact that we had this push higher. Uh, but overall, right? The daily is just still screaming neutral, still screaming, hey, we're waiting with our breath held for the earnings announcement. So please keep in mind that can be a 50-50 mover there. It's not a guarantee that it has to be higher or lower. Could be both. Could be just a ton of volatility. Could be a muted move, go sideways. No one truly knows. Don't be fooled into anyone telling you that they know one way or another. That's really all there is to Apple, at least as of right now. We'll essentially know more as we get the information to come out and we establish new trends in the company. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.